Welcome to this tutorial on searching the journal article database at MedInfoNow. The MedInfoNow software provides a totally unique way of searching Medline, providing you with accurate and reliable results quickly and easily. The MedInfoNow website is updated every week with citations of more than 10,000 articles added to the Medline database. You can access information about more than 3 million articles when you search the Medline database at MedInfoNow. Let's show you how to do a quick keyword search and an advanced search. When you are logged in at the MedInfoNow website, look at the search box in the upper right corner of the page. Before you start, make sure Journal Articles is highlighted in red. If it's not, click on the Journal Articles link to switch to that database. Type your keywords in the text box. In this case, let's look for articles related to asthma and smoking. Clicking on the search button does two things simultaneously. It loads the search results, in this case 26 articles, and also loads the topics these 26 articles are classified in. Scrolling the topic list, if I click on the topic of hypersensitivity under allergy, the 26 articles are instantly narrowed to 12 articles. It's easy to scroll through the 12 articles to find what I need. But what if I wanted to conduct a more complicated search? Click on the Advanced Search link at the very top of the page. This opens the Advanced Search form, which allows me to search the 3 million journal articles by a variety of parameters. First, in the left column, I want to change the date filter to the date added. So I select three years from both the assigned within and the published within pull-down lists. Next, I change the journal filters from all to recommended. These are the highest impact journals in the Medline database. Moving to the center column, I enter my keywords, asthma and smoking, in the search all fields text box. I want to set other limits as well, so I scroll down the page to publication type and select all the clinical trials and review articles. With these parameters in place, I click on the search button. Within seconds, 30 search results appear. At this point, I expand the results per page from 10 to 50 so I can view the citations of all 30 articles on a single screen. The second to last article catches my eye, so I click on it. This leads to the abstract of the article. So by typing in my keywords and adjusting a few filters within a few seconds, I get a manageable list of reliable and accurate results from a database of more than 3 million articles.